Radiation Oncology Residency is five years total. That includes a one-year intern year that's done in, in something more primary. So internal medicine, pediatrics, OBGYN, or family medicine, typically, or a transitional year, followed by four years of radiation oncology. So in general, our faculty kind of subspecialize. So when a resident is paired with a faculty, um, they're generally with them for a three-month period of time in which they'll be kind of intensively working on one or two cancer types. That might be, for me, head and neck and breast cancer, for Dr. Gunter, um, GU and lung cancer, um, and, and so on. So like three months of immersion in a certain type of cancer with, with a faculty. Our campus is one of four in the country when it comes to organizing all the different colleges here. We've got the College of Medicine, which our department is based in. We also have the College of Nursing, Dentistry, Pharmacy, and many other colleges here. Only four other campuses in the country have these many different disciplines in one location. For me, it's very helpful to have all of these disciplines right here because it allows for collaboration, different projects that we can work together. So the interview season, it, it was, it's exhausting, right? And you don't get that lift that you get from coming to a city, having meals with the people that you're interviewing with and really getting to connect with them on, a, on a, that deeper level. That said, I think that one unique opportunity for a lot of people that they wouldn't have normally is the ability to really interview more broadly and get a better cross-section of opportunities that are out there. So this is a time for me to get a chance to meet more applicants than maybe I would normally, and for the applicants to get a chance to get, learn more about other programs. Our department is in a very unique and exciting position uh, with all the growth that we're about to experience. Um, I, I think that residents joining us now will be um, at the entry level to just explosive growth over the next few years. Um, our, our department's going to shape, uh, be shaped the way we want it to be. Um, and so I think that it's going to be very responsive to the needs of our trainees. The Stevenson Cancer Center is the only NCI designated institute in the state, uh, which was a big draw to have the opportunity to train there. Additionally, we are one of the top accruing sites for clinical trials nationwide, and so having the benefit of more options for our patients and being able to treat with the most up-to-date protocols and techniques was also very important for me. Additionally, we, we also don't have to travel anywhere to get our numbers to graduate, so we have adequate numbers of pediatric cases, brachytherapy cases, unsealed sources cases, um, so that was also a big draw. We have a very strong pediatric program here with uh, lots of cases throughout the, throughout the state all funneling into our program. A lot of residencies don't, don't offer their in-house pediatric program, so that's always a benefit to being able to get fantastic training in both protons and x-rays uh, in pediatrics right here on campus. So we have a very strong relationship with the Gynonc department here at Stevenson Cancer Center. We work with them weekly, um, which is great for patient care. We have a very strong patient load. We're actually the number one um, recruiting for NRG trials, clinical trials. So we have lots of cases. Dr. Thompson is our RADONC attending, um, and so we are in our HDR suite, which is conveniently located within our department. Uh, mostly all day, every day, um, but it's nice because we're right there by clinic in case we need to go see a consult or a follow-up. We see anywhere from 10 to 20 uh, HDR tandem and rings or cylinder placements a week, so we have very strong guide numbers. So I love the camaraderie between all the faculty and, and the residents. Um, I've, I've never felt out of place voicing my opinion or um, just having a good time in any meeting with, with our faculty or resident. I, I love all the people I work with dearly. I think Oklahoma City is an up and coming city. There's a lot of affordable housing options if you want to rent or buy a house. Uh, very low cost of living. There are also many different restaurants and breweries you can go to. So it's a great place to live in. Um, we usually hang out outside of residency as well. So just because there's only six of us doesn't mean that you don't have, you know, interpersonal relationships with your co-residents. So we have a great group here and you can definitely tell even between not just the residents, but the residents and the attendings, we all really mesh well. It's a very genuine environment. 